In this video lecture, we're going to discuss another type of hydrogen oxygen fuel cell, but this time uh, we're going to use an acidic electrolyte. What that means is that the basic premise of the fuel cell is exactly the same. There's hydrogen gas being pumped from this left-hand chamber, and there's oxygen gas being pumped from the other side. Uh, these are your two platinum electrodes over here. Uh, the platinum electrodes uh, would not only help in, uh, in conducting electricity, but they would also help in in reducing the activation energy of the reaction so the reaction happens faster so these are your platinum electrodes and this middle part is your polymer that contains an electrolyte the only difference now is that this electrolyte compared to the alkaline hydrogen oxygen fuel cell that we discussed in part one the only difference uh, in this fuel cell compared to that fuel cell is that the electrolyte contains hydrogen ions h plus one ions are present in the fuel cell uh, these H plus 1 ions are generally introduced in this electrolyte uh, by using phosphoric acid as an electrolyte. They would help in conducting uh, current uh, and completing the circuit. Now, when this hydrogen gas over here is, uh, is pumped into this chamber over here uh, and meets this platinum electrode, a reaction occurs over here which is that uh, hydrogen ends up losing electrons. So the hydrogen gas molecules, they would start losing electrons and they would start producing electrons to form H plus one ions and electrons would be lost. So over here it's losing four electrons. So this platinum electrode would gain electrons. It would become negatively charged because hydrogen gas coming in from this left hand chamber, it would start producing electrons and these electrons would uh, would increase the concentration of electrons on the platinum electrode and it would become negatively charged. Now in this, on the right hand electrode, there's oxygen or air being pumped in. Remember air contains mostly oxygen, not mostly oxygen, but 21% oxygen. The rest of it is inert nitrogen. So, so air is pumped into this uh, right hand chamber and it comes into contact with the platinum electrode. And remember this electrolyte over here contains H plus one ions which came from the phosphoric acid that we added in this electrolyte. So this oxygen comes into contact with H plus one and a reaction occurs. So this oxygen ends up reacting with the with the four H plus one ions ends up gaining uh, four electrons and water would be produced. Two water molecules are produced. So this is the reaction that's happening and as you can see that the oxygen is gaining electrons. So since it's gaining electrons, the platinum electrode would lose all its electrons to oxygen uh, because those electrons have to come from somewhere because it's gaining electrons. And the platinum electrode would become positively charged. It would gain a positive charge because all the electrons would be taken up by oxygen. And also you can see that water is being produced. This water is a byproduct that would leave this chamber. So th these water molecules, they would be, would be coming out from this side. Uh, oxygen goes in, reacts with the H plus one in the electrolyte, gains four electrons from the platinum electrode and ends up producing water. So this water comes out from the other side. Now, as you can see that one of your electrode, platinum electrode, has gained a negative charge, whereas the other platinum electrode has gained a positive charge. So if you connect a wire, there's a potential difference created. And electrons would try to leave the negative charge and they would be attracted to the positive charge. So if you, if you put a voltmeter in between, the voltmeter would register a voltage, it would register a potential difference. And electrons would try to flow, flow on in this external circuit. So if there's a load or any appliance or anything that's put over here, then this current would try to drive uh, that particular load. And one other thing that you should notice is that if you notice uh, the left hand equation, you can see that uh, this reaction over here, the hydrogen comes into contact with the platinum electrode, actually produces H plus one ions. So this left hand electrode, whatever reaction that's happening is producing H plus one ions. So, so the quantity of H plus one uh, electrolyte in this, in this electrolyte would increase because a lot of H plus one ions would be produced by this reaction over here. But at the same time, if you look at the right hand electrode, the oxygen is reacting with those H plus one ions and it's converting them to water, which is leaving this uh, chamber over here. So this reaction over here is consuming those H plus one ions. So those H plus one ions would be gained by the, by the oxygen or they would react with the oxygen. So, 
So there would be a net flow of H plus one ions from left to right. On one electrode, H plus one ions are being produced. On the other electrode, H plus one ions are being consumed. Now the last step is I'm going to try and write an overall equation. So I have two equations, one at the right hand electrode and one at the left hand electrode. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to add the two equations up. So I have an overall equation of um, of this electro uh, of this uh, hydrogen oxygen fuel cell. So so one equation is on the left hand electrode it's 2H2 and it's getting converted into 4H plus 1 ions and producing 4 electrons. On the right hand electrode you have you have oxygen uh, coming in contact with 4H plus 1 ions. It's gaining 4 electrons and it's producing 2 water molecules. So I just need to add the left hand reactants and the right hand product. So if I add the left hand reactants it's going to be 2H2 plus there's going to be O2 plus there would be 4H plus 1 ions plus there would be 4 electrons. So these are my uh, these are my left hand uh, reactants in both equations. I've summed them up. Now I'm summing up the right hand products and if I sum them up it's going to be 4H plus 1 plus 4 electrons and there are two water molecules being produced. I would simplify this equation now. As you can see, there are four H plus one on both sides, so I cancel that out. The four electrons on both sides, I cancel that out. So my overall reaction is that there's two H2 reacting with O2, and it's producing two water, two H2 molecules. So water is your only byproduct of this reaction, and we, we discussed this earlier as well, that water is the only byproduct of this reaction. Uh, and we didn't discuss this left hand chamber. Nothing is being produced at, at this left hand chamber over here because hydrogen just comes in and produces H plus 1 ions that, that go into the electrolyte. So the only thing that's coming out of the left hand chamber is the unused fuel or unused hydrogen gas. So there's only one byproduct that's coming out and that is water.